Hello and welcome back here to the channel, I'm Evil Rabbit. If this car looks familiar to some of you and the game looks familiar, that's because we are back here on Forza Horizon 4. Why, why you gotta interrupt me, dude? Sometimes that guy can be very interrupting. So we're back here on Forza Horizon 4 to see if I can still drift. We are in one of my drift evos that I gave away back in time. So, before we do that, I would like to thank for sponsoring another video the coldest water for sponsoring another video here for today definitely an amazing companion for myself here gaming as well as at work keeping my water cold for 36 plus hours you know 100 plus hours depending on the size back by 10,000 plus five star reviews on amazon so a big thank you to the coldest water for sponsoring another video here on the channel so uh let's go full send we're in the drift evo here in forza horizon 4 okay yep I forgot this car's pretty slide happy. All my controls are still working. Oh boy. But definitely have to get back used to this game. That pearlescent and green NRG innovations. Drift Evo. I gave away red ones and blue ones. I do not believe I ever gave away these speckled black and green ones. So. Horizon 4 definitely pulled me back here on the channel. I don't know where I was trying to go with that. Definitely very different from a set of Corsa, but we're going to try to do our best here today and not wreck. Figured I would bring the Evo out because this was probably one of the last cars I really drifted in Horizon 4 before I switched over to a set of Corsa. But it is kind of cool to have this feel back. I feel like we can still drift. Oh, Mercedes. Man, we were so close. So if you guys want to keep seeing Forza Horizon 4 video content here on the channel, let me know down in the comment section down below. Tap that like button, subscribe if you are not a subscriber. And if you guys want to get your own coldest water bottle, make sure you guys use the links down in the description box below as well as use promo code EVL10. For 10% off your order, that's EVL10 for 10% off your order when you purchase at the coldest water. So, I think we can still drift. Going in this little, oh, I remember this little roundabout section. Got a little bit of an uphill, that's a BMW. Got a little bit of an uphill section that we used to drift down. We're going to see if we can't do this little city side mountain road drifting in the Evo. Used to run some nice tandems with some of my buddies and stuff back in the day here. Starting to slowly get the feels back. I feel we do have somewhat of a flow again. Oh, except for right there. That was a huge hit. Force feedback's a lot harder than I remember. A lot stiffer than I remember. Oh, boy. We may need to turn the force feedback down a little bit on our wheel. Let me go down to 10. I just love this crackle on this car. So let's... Let's uh, turn up the crackle a little bit for you guys. Nope. Nope. Come back. A little bit louder of a crackle for you. So I'm trying to remember this little downhill drift section, so we're going to go full send. I think it started here, maybe. Unsure, but we're going. Oh, we did not get that anywhere near good enough. Through the traffic, kicking it back around this little roundabout section and kick it around avoid the little forward okay definitely very different than a set of Corsa I must say definitely having a lot of fun with it though it's good to be back here in Horizon 4 and like I said if you guys want to keep seeing Horizon 4 content here on the channel let me know down in the comments make sure you tap and subscribe and hit that like button the more likes the video gets the more likely I'd be inclined to bring out to you guys some more Horizon 4 content. Oh boy. 
Oh, don't die. We almost died. Trying to get back into the city a little bit. Stretch the legs of this Evo out real quick. We're gonna die. Oh yeah, we died. Oh, we didn't die fully. Uh, looks like that dude is trying to drift a... A, uh, very sporty sports car. Don't know why I couldn't think of the name of that car off the rip. McLaren. Couldn't think of it off the rip. But I feel like the Evo is definitely back. And I'm actually enjoying this little slalom section, little street drifting. Oh, we took that pull out, but we're gonna go this way. Starting to get the flow back. Starting to remember how to be gentle with my steering. Do I have it on authentic or do I have it on 100? We're gonna go to authentic and see if that makes a difference. Oh, well, that makes a little bit of difference. I had a 900 set, not authentic. Authentic feels much nicer. Oh yeah. That's, that's where we need to be. Oh, except for not into that pole. Probably one of my favorite builds I've ever done here in Horizon 4 is this car. And I know a lot of you guys still have it. I get, you know, screenshots of people who have it still in their car inventory. So if you still have one of these from when I originally released the whites and the blues, let me know down in the comments if you have it. Maybe shoot me a direct message on discord or post it up in my discord if you are already in the discord server we'll leave the link to the discord down in the description box below be very curious to see how many people still have these cars the numbered ones because i know i did number six blue and i believe six red and i gave them all out fully tuned ready to ready to rip definitely had a lot of fun with that i'm actually having a bit of a blast being back here in Horizon 4. This Evo still gets it, so can we still drift in Horizon 4? Yeah, we definitely can. Oh, save it. Oh, save it. I know we got a slew of drift cars in our garage. We may switch up to another car here. Pull out one or two more cars here for today's episode, but... Definitely uh, bringing back the nostalgia feel with this Evo here in the streets. Speed zone. This should be a sideways zone. Oh, mind you that a little bit because that car. Take it in the third. Probably should have stayed in fourth. We got it. We're good. I can officially say I'm actually impressed with the fact that we have not totally died too much as I say that we go hard into the wall so let's switch up cars see what other cars we got because I know we have a lot of them no I don't want to go to festival I want to go to my cars let's see what we got because I know we got a lot of cars I believe we have a drift r8 we have of course all the BMWs which we started building BMWs. We got our M4, which is probably one of my favorite ones. Of course, we have all the Chevy cars I used to drift in here in Horizon 4. All the FD cars, the Mustangs. Yeah, we got a lot. So we got all these cars. Not a lot of them we've used before. All the Hoonigan cars. I know we got a bunch of... Mazdas and a bunch of RX-7s. So of course, we have plenty of Nissans. Plenty of Zs. Street 370, GTR, 350. We're just going to see what all kinds of cars we got. Because we got actually two Forza editions of those. I'm sure we have plenty of crates that we could be opening here for another episode but I think I think I'm feeling I think I'm feeling we should try and see if we can drift in an FD car because well 
it'd be very hard to see the difference between my tuned to a fully tuned FD car. So we're going to bring out Chris Forsberg's 370Z. Car didn't get to drive much here in Horizon. Oh yeah, much different. You can definitely tell the power increase is there compared to that Evo we were running. But we can still drift. We got this. This is definitely uh, a lot more rowdy than that Evo was. But we're also talking massive amounts of power compared to that and angle lock. But it is great to see that I can come back to Horizon 4 and not miss a beat and still get sideways. This is going to be death to me, I feel. Oh, yeah, we would have died. 182 to 80 miles an hour. We would definitely be ripped and dead. We're going to try some high-speed drifting here. Wanted to go into sixth, not fourth. So not the best at high-speed drifting, just trying to clutch kick the high speed. 30, Forza e-brake grab, which is okay because we are back on Forza. I thought we were going to end up in the beach there for a second, actually. This is something else, trying to do these really high-speed drifting. This car is super grippy, but also very loose. And it almost wants to come out of drift because we're, you know, upwards of 150 and higher. Oh, no, we're dead. We can die. Oh, Horizon 4, I feel like I'm back <laughs> in the thick of it where I was just smashing through trees in off, you know, off-road races and stuff. So I'm going to slow this down a little bit. Actually try and uh, drift a corner or two before we end this episode off. Chris Forsberg's 370, definitely a lot of fun. I don't know what happened there. Would not want to step out. So can we still drift in Horizon 4? I feel like we can. Do I need a little more practice again? He most definitely. So if you guys want to keep seeing Forza Horizon 4 content on the channel, you guys know what to do. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. I would appreciate all the support. I'm going to try and get this sweeper here. Not enough speed. We got this though. Almost. So I think that'll do it here for this episode here of Forza Horizon 4. Bring it back some nostalgic and uh, having a lot of fun doing it. The Fantech definitely very different on here from when I was on this with my G920. So I feel like getting some settings dialed in, we could be back here in full form. So that'll about wrap this episode up. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media. All that's found in the description box below. Make sure you guys check out Coldest Water. Links are in the description box below. Use code EVL10 at checkout for 10% off your entire order. So as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.